to get you for the best of live and on demand. Three hours straight, Barry played this acoustic guitar for Angela after a long morning depleting the entire Trivial Pursuit box of every question. He played all of Paul Simon's Graceland, the entirety of Led Zeppelin's Moby Dick, and one original, Wet Autumn Leaves on the Cherry Mountaintop. By the end of it, Angela said that she was free to love again. Barry smiled. Maybe this morning would be the night. Or would it be the morning? No one ever says maybe this morning's the morning. It's always maybe tonight's the night. Barry thought about this as Angela looked at him expectantly. His confusion was read as disinterest. Angela then turned on the TV and started talking about some bullshit feature of her direct TV. The romantic moment was over, probably forever. With direct TV, I can get live TV and on demand. Look, I don't know if this couple are boyfriend and girlfriend or they're married or they just met on Ashley Madison, but I think we can all agree it's weird to sit someone down on a couch and tell them about a feature this incredibly uninteresting. You can switch between live TV and on demand? Who f***ing cares? One of you can watch the shit you want with a phone or a tablet and you don't have to do the incessant switching back and forth. And I think we all know this is just going to end up on the housewife, so so much for that feature. Also, we then get a disclaimer. Switching programs requires additional steps in time, so it's either not as easy as they're showing, which who gives a shit anyway, or it is this easy and it requires you to buy extra shit to activate the feature. But honestly, I don't know why you would. This is ending up on Housewives anyway. Also, also, why do we have to abbreviate requires and additional in the disclaimer? Is it so if you make it smaller, people won't notice you're telling half-truths about your unimportant feature? Also times three, I'd like another demonstration of this feature when it's raining outside. Whoops. So I was checking the rule book and while there isn't anything there about the opposing team simultaneously transforming into housewives, my guess is that the play would be whistled dead, stopped, and then be under a delay. The officiating crew would have to sort all of this out for a minute, potentially going to replay. I don't think this is allowed, but I don't know every single rule in the book, so let's move on. Also, if this is happening for the couple switching back and forth between the games at home, is this happening for everyone? Like, is there some fan watching the Cowboys game and suddenly housewives show up? Or is everything normal and not total bullshit? The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. What is this dude worried about? They're not going to keep playing the game. <laughs> They're not going to keep playing the game. I just want to talk! Holy sh**. They're actually playing the game! That's blatant pass interference. The refs are going to have to get control of this game, because if they don't, it's going to be Bedlam on the field, is what some announcer who's secretly wishing for Bedlam is saying right now. This is an illegal play. Also, since we still see CeeDee Lamb over here, that means the ball Dak Prescott threw somehow went straight into the air and just now landed. So did the DirecTV magic affect physics too? Also, also, CD needs to go to the tent and get checked out. That was definitely a concussion type hit. You know what? I bet the f***ing tent got transferred to New Jersey during the channel flipping. They really should have stopped this game. And they need to round up the Las Vegas Raiders who suddenly found themselves in New Jersey without their consent, which is illegal in 49 states and Puerto Rico. Don't worry, Dak. None of this counts. Who flips the table? I guess this is hilarious to people who have seen the show. I'm guessing she flipped a table on the show once. I bet that was super funny, ruining everyone's dinner that night. I don't know if it was a dinner or not, but I'm assuming it wasn't an exhibitor's table at Comic-Con. Some dude selling gargoyle figurines from a comic called Mama Stole My Vast Deferens. Either way, I think we can agree flipping a table is a dick move, and I don't know what's so humorous about that sh**. Get your TV together with the best of live and on demand. Another disclaimer about needing high-speed internet and compatible equipment now. Average Joe who doesn't read the bullshit disclaimers is now going to call DirecTV and say, I saw that awesome feature you advertised that I'm going to use maybe 0.05% of the time that I watch television. Sign me the f*** up. And then they're going to be like, okay, well, you still need high-speed internet and more equipment to do that sh** because I'm certain the operator has a dirty mouth and gives zero f and the average Joe will be like, did you hear me? I said I wanted it inside me. Now schedule my installation, you dicks! It's a portal. And then after about 15 minutes, you're spit out into a ditch on the side of the New Jersey Turnpike. Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, and TV Sense, where we send TV. Also subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass. Oh, and check out CinemaSense.com, which has all our videos and easy genre categories and links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed Void in Tennessee.